have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the What's going on, Strength Team family? Look, I'm back with another great video, and today is your favorite day. Well, not maybe yours, but more than likely most people's favorite day. Everybody loves big arms. Everybody loves to train their biceps. Everybody loves to train their triceps because honestly, when you see somebody in the summertime, that's usually the first thing you're going to notice. You're going to notice either their triceps or their biceps. So everybody wants very big and just strong, defined, very well developed biceps and triceps. And that is exactly what we're going to do today in this workout. If you are new to the strength team, welcome to the strength team. All we do over here is get gains. We're going to jump straight into this workout. Our first exercise, we got the standing dumbbell curls. But you know, that sounds too traditional. That sounds too basic. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a drop set. So as you're sitting in the video, I want you to be strict. I'm not swaying. I'm not swinging. I'm literally just letting my bicep stretch and flex and contract. That is all I want you to do. You're going to do 10 reps with a weight, and then I want you to drop that weight by 50% and then perform 10 more reps, just like me and Chandler's doing in the video. The pump that you're going to have, I mean, just your first set, you're already going to be pumped up. That's why I be telling you these workouts are game certified because as soon as you jump into the workouts, you already feel what you're supposed to feel at the end of your workout. We do not play. We go to the gym, we target our muscles, and we get gains, and we get out. Now, as you're seeing in the video, I actually start struggling. So make sure that weight is somewhat challenging. Don't go in the gym and make that weight too easy. As you're seeing in the video, once you struggle, say you're on your third set, okay, you get like six reps and you start struggling, don't stop at six. Go ahead and start alternating your curls. Now you'll be able to perform a little bit more reps. This way it's gonna push you past failure. So now you can do seven and then eight, then nine, then 10, and then drop it to that lighter weight and then you should be able to perform 10 more reps. After you finish with that, we're going to do a dumbbell extension. But look, that sounds too basic too, right? We don't do basic over here at Strength Team. Everything we do is gain certified. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another drop set. I want you to pick a weight that you can do 10 reps pretty comfortably. And then I want you to drop it by like 20 pounds and then do another set for 10 reps. Every single set, that's what you're going to do. I think I used 80 pounds and I got it for 10 reps. And then I dropped it down to 60 pounds and I got it for 10 reps. I think Chandra is using 30 pounds. She got it for an easy 10 reps. And then she dropped it down to 15 pounds and got another easy 10 reps. This workout is game certified. Now, after you finish with that, we're gonna do the easy curl bar reverse curls. This is a great exercise for your forearms, your extensors, your brachialis. It's just a really great exercise and nobody really does reverse curls, but I'm gonna start incorporating it more and more into my videos because we all about to start leaning down and it just makes your arm look really good. It separates your arms out between your biceps and triceps and just makes it look really big. We're gonna do three sets and we're gonna aim between 10 to 12 reps. The main thing to think about is keep the weight in front of you if you can keep the weight in front of you and just basically just bring your wrist up that's how I tell all my clients don't think about trying to curl it just bring your wrist up and what that's going to do is it's going to make you curl it that way you don't have to think about nothing and just contract at the top squeeze and flex as you're seeing in the video every single rep that me and Chandra is doing we're squeezing and we're flexing come down somewhat slow bring it up squeeze and flex every single rep we're going to do three sets 12 to 15 reps after we finish with that we're going to do the flat easy curl bar extensions we're going to do three three sets and we're going to stay between 10 to 12 reps. I want you to go somewhat heavy, but don't go too heavy where you cannot at least get 10 reps. We both chose challenging weights and we struggled to get 10 to 12 reps. That's why you see in the video, we come over there and start helping each other. Now, as you're seeing how we're performing this, we're bringing the weights behind us. You know, I'll be preaching. We do not bring, we don't do nose busters. We don't bring the bar nowhere close to our face. It is always behind your head. Every single rep, I want you to bring it to the middle of your head and then just press it up and flex your triceps every single rep. After finish with that, we're going to do the dumbbell hammer curls. We're not just going to do no regular dumbbell hammer curls. We're going to do the five, five, five. What I mean by that, I want you to hold one arm and flex it with a dumbbell, and you're going to hold that one steady, and you're going to do five reps with your other one. And when you finish with five reps with your other one, now you're going to hold this one and flex it, and now you're going to do five reps with your other one. And then after you finish five reps like that, then do five reps together. We're going to do this for three sets. Now, if you're serious about your gains, I want you to even try something a little bit harder. If you got a training partner or somebody in the gym you trust, try it like we did for our third sets, and I promise you, you're going to love and hate me at the same time. Now, as you're seeing the video, instead of just holding that weight, now we got somebody that's putting pressure down. So they're putting pressure and you're holding it. Now do five reps. And then after you do five reps, now you're going to hold this weight, and then somebody's going to press you down again. Now you're going to do five reps. And now you're going to bring it up, and as you're bringing it up, you're going to hold it. Somebody's going to put pressure, and you're going to hold it for five seconds. 
seconds and then let it down, use momentum and bring it back up, they're gonna put pressure back on you again for five seconds. You're gonna do this until you cannot perform at least three seconds and then put the weight down. I'm telling you, after this, your arms are going to be pumped. You're just going to hate me. You're going to hate life, but you're going to love it so much because you're going to be in a mirror flexing and your biceps are just going to look good. Now, after finish with that, we're going to finish it off. We're going to finish our tricep workout off with the weighted diamond push-ups. If you cannot do a push-up, you can do just what Chandra's doing. Ladies, it's perfectly fine to do them on your knees. Do not feel like people's looking at you or judging you. It doesn't matter because you are still getting your gains. Do it just like Chandra is. I want your hands to be about 6 to 12 inches apart. I don't want you to have them super close because it's going to hurt your wrists. It's going to hurt your shoulders. So go ahead and try to put like 6 to 12 inches between your hands and put them almost in like a diamond shape position. All I want you to do is just do a regular push up. Go all the way down as far as you can comfortably. Then press up. And when you're pressing up, go ahead and squeeze and flex your triceps every single rep. Now fellas, what I want you to do is I want you to put some weight on you. As you're seeing the video, I add more weight every single set. For my first set, I only use 45 pounds. And then for my second set, I used 70 pounds. And for my third set, I used 70 pounds and did a drop set. So what I mean by a drop set, I performed as many reps as I could do with 70 pounds on me. It was a 45 and a 25 pound plate. Then my partner took it off. And then I performed as many as I could do also with just the 45 alone. And then he took that off and then I went ahead and just went to failure with as many reps as I could do gain certified. We only did three exercises for our biceps and we only did three exercises for our triceps. But I'm telling you, when I mean pumped, I mean pump. Definitely try this out. I promise you. It's only going to take you like 40 to 45 minutes. And you know if you can get in the gym and get gains within 45 minutes, that's a win-win situation. But like I tell you in every single video, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them gains.